Hi again, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is Prepping by Faith, and first, I'd like to thank Autumn from Autumn's Backyard Garden for recommending my channel yesterday. I really appreciate the kindness and support I've received from everyone in the prepping community, and I hope that I get to pay it forward someday. Now, what I wanted to talk to you guys about tonight is, can we get ahead of inflation? To answer that question, we have to look at where we think inflation is headed in the first place. Does it have the potential to get worse and possibly hyperinflate? Unfortunately, I think the answer to that question is yes. Canadian Prepper did a video about a week ago informing everyone about the email he received from Berkey announcing they are going to have a huge price hike next month, anywhere from 10 to 30%. If they aren't even certain of the exact amount, that is because they are giving themselves room for that upper threshold. Obviously, they aren't confident in their suppliers, and they believe everything is volatile right now. We all know about the trucker mandates and the people that are standing up in Canada against them, as well as the possibility of the same thing happening stateside. And God bless them for it. I hope we have more people continue to protest against the tyranny of these evil leaders at the top. However, we are all in a tight spot right now. I know some of you are probably wondering how you put food on the table, let alone how do you pay 30% more for everything you need. I would encourage you to seek God first and foremost. He is our place of refuge and where we need to go when we are confused and need guidance. He has the answers if we just spend the time with him. The Bible tells us the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved in Proverbs 18.10. I would encourage you, if you do have anything saved, to go ahead and get items that you need now. If you still haven't put up any long-term food storage, consider it. It doesn't have to be anything too expensive. As I mentioned the other day, there are other options like the churchofjesuschrist.org that is much cheaper than Augustin Farms. I would also suggest you complete any large purchases you have put off. I'll give you an example. We had let our mattress get to eight years old and we finally broke down and replaced it. We also went ahead and replaced our ancient computer chair. If you don't have some of your more expensive prep items purchased, consider getting those as well. Things like your generators, your manual grain mill for your hard wheat, etc. Also, if you have put off dental or doctor's visits, consider getting those taken care of as well. I'm talking to myself here too. I know most of us don't enjoy those kinds of things. Really, any kind of service you need completed or major repair. If you've put off getting your vehicle fixed or a repair made to your home, as the cost of those parts go up, they will get passed along to you. For those of you who are struggling right now, I'd just like to say a prayer for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that every single one who has tuned into this video tonight would be blessed. Lord, you see their situations. You know that they are worried about paying their bills and putting food on the table. I pray that you would supernaturally bless them and cause them to begin to prosper in ways they didn't think possible. I pray that they would turn to you and you would bless them. You told us you are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. You told us we would be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. You said you would never see your righteous forsaken, nor your seed out begging for bread. We believe that your word is truth. We expect great and mighty miracles for these people. We thank you for these things, and we claim them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I hope that all of you will stay encouraged in the Lord. Where we are weak, he is strong. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. God bless you. I hope that if this has blessed you in some small way, that you will consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you.